Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a unboxing video so if you like the sound of that do keep on watching and I will get straight into the video now. So if you are subscribed to my channel or you've been watching my recent videos you'll know that I've got more into kind of subscription boxes. I've done a creepies unboxing which I will link in the eye. I just put that one up. I've also got a spooky box that will be up by the time this video goes up and also a ginger red coffin box. So I've definitely been trying out some new boxes. I've tried spooky box for quite a while but I've never tried creepies or the ginger red coffin box and today I actually have a brand new subscription box as well and this is by a cult box so I've never actually tried their subscription box before not even before I started my channel so this is a brand new box to me but when they released the theme I was like oh my gosh yes <laughs> so this is called the ghoulish night in pamper your inner demon so that's the theme and they always tend to have one or two small businesses in the box which I really like and this month it's VE Cosmetics and Hannah Horror. So both of those companies I like the look of. I've got a few pieces from Hannah Horror that I really love. That one is by her and also that one. <laughs> um, I've never tried anything from VE Cosmetics but I am interested in trying something from them so that's why I pre-ordered this and it's not like one of the most expensive boxes either. So for the UK this box costs £23 plus £3 shipping so it comes to a total of 26 I believe they ship internationally but you would have to check because the prices would vary. I also really like how this box arrived on time as well so I ordered this on the 26th of January and it arrived on Friday which was 26th of February so it literally arrived like a month later because this was the February box so in terms of like the estimated time it arrived on time so that's very very good because that's not something all subscription boxes do. Something also I did pre-order this I didn't subscribe so you do get the choice of whether you want to subscribe to the box or just do a pre-order which is what I did. So I did have a look and everything's wrapped up really really nicely so I did want to show you that. So this is what the box looks like, hopefully you can see the sticker there. And everything's tied up with like black stripy string. When you open the box up, as you can see, so the presentation of it looks really really nice but obviously I haven't seen what's inside it. First up it says self-care requires a little human sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> so there is this little print and this is by Hannah Hora. I thought it was by her kind of style. So I will be keeping this although it's kind of like a leaflet you could easily make this into a print because these two prints that I have up there are actually leaflets but I really liked them so that's why they're on my wall so yeah that is on top and then there's all this kind of tissue paper and more tissue paper <laughs> and then everything looks like this. So in terms of spoilers I know there's a face mask and some bath salts and maybe a crystal or something but that's all I've kind of seen. So I see the bath salts so <laughs> we'll pull that out first. So this is the first item. This says Satan's Soak Rose Petal Bath Salts and Mystery Crystal. So I'm assuming that's where the crystal was from. I think from the photo I saw I quickly like swiped up it is a zebra jasper crystal um yeah it looks like it by because I can see it through the salt this bracelet I'm wearing is also zebra jasper it's a really really pretty stone um this bracelet's by garnet fox by the way if you are interested because she does sell them but I'm hoping to actually get a zebra jasper tower because I think they look really pretty but I won't be able to take it out because it is kind of <laughs> in all the salt but hopefully I can show you a little bit of it so you can kind of see the stone peeking through there so it is a zebra jasper tumble stone um so that's very nice oh and it does have the ingredients so it says it's epsom salt rose petals and yeah zebra agate is it agate I thought it was zebra jasper oh well <laughs> zebra agate stone add contents to a bath relax enjoy so that's really really nice it's not a strong scent but maybe when you put it in the bath 
it will smell a bit more but that's the first item anyway i spent way too long on that um the next item i see is the samhain wax melts in the scent sweet pumpkin now if you again have followed my channel for a while you know that i've been really getting into wax melts recently i am a brand rep for melts and felt so definitely into my wax melts oh these are really cool they smell so good. So they are in like one of these like plastic container things. But when you open it up, it's kind of got all these like dry pumpkins in, which is really, really pretty. And it definitely smells of pumpkin. It says sweet pumpkin, but it almost smells like a pumpkin pudding or like a dessert. It smells incredible. That's definitely one of the nicest smelling pumpkin things i've smelt so <laughs> yeah that's the second one the samhain wax melt and as you can see this is a product from a cult box themselves so that's the second item so far so good the next item in here are some candles now this says weeping candle black tapered dinner candles that bleed and ooze red wax blood. <laughs> so these are kind of like these vampire candles that I've seen. These are quite cool. I don't usually use candles like this but I do actually have a like a huge gothic raven and skull candle holder that would hold candles like this. So that would be quite cool actually to put them in there. But so far it's empty. <laughs> But these are what these look like. So the idea is they're black and then once you burn them like the inside of them is red and it kind of pours down like that image there. Again if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I'm really into the vampire stuff lately. So these look really really cool. So this is the next item. So this says manicure set um, and it's this little pouch and it's got a bat on here. And it's kind of like a pleathery material. It is quite soft. And then it's got this really cute little tag on it that says manicure set. And then it says contains one nail file, one nail clippers, one nail scissors, and one cuticle pusher and nail cleaner. So definitely sticking with the whole pamper theme. I think that's really cute. So I'll just get everything out so I can show you. Okay, so inside this is everything. So it does come on this like piece of blue plastic and then it's got the nail clippers, the cuticle thing, the scissors and a nail file. I'm not sure what's on the end of that. Maybe that's just the holder. I don't know. <laughs> This is actually quite useful. Although the products themselves aren't spooky, it is a really nice idea and I like that it comes in a little pouch. Um, so I'll definitely get use out of those actually. I always need more like scissors and nail files. I will go on to some sweets that I see. Oh, okay. So these are um, cola skulls. That's really cute. I like how they're still spooky themed. They haven't just put like cola bottles in. So this says trick or treat yourself vegan cola skulls fizzy gummy sweets um, and then it's got the ingredients on there so they're basically these huge kind of cola skull shapes even the packaging is really nice i like the sticker and everything so these are like giant skulls so really like that again i like how they're actually like spooky sweets i'll go for this in this little box so this says the demons drink vegan hot chocolate kit so i will open this up oh my gosh <laughs> i've just seen some like ghost sprinkles <laughs> okay so it doesn't come with instructions or anything maybe there's something at the bottom of the box but inside that black box there's some it says vegan chocolate but it's like chocolate buttons so there is a pot of those again it's got all the ingredients and then there's a little tub of vegan marshmallows which are in there and then as i showed you earlier there are some ghost sprinkles as well so that's very cute um so all of these were in the box too again i like how they've gone to the effort of putting like spooky sprinkles in there i think that's really cute okay so next up i see some dice in this like red organza bag so i'll just get this out i do see that they're spooky dice yeah so they do actually have skulls on i think i've seen these before but i don't actually have any so this is what the dice look like there are two of them 
as you can see they are like skull dice which is kind of cool and then it does have this little piece of paper it says divination dice so it does say roll the dice and discover your fate throw your dice and the two numbers that appear on the face of the dice together to find your fortune number use the key below to reveal your fortune so it says like two take a good look at circumstances in your life things may not be what they seem so each one is a different number um the piece of paper has got a few marks on but i'm assuming that's because of the dice that have been against it but if you like the idea of this and you do have your own dice i'm sure most people do and you'd like to read that i will just hold it up so you can take a screenshot or pause the video or something but again that's really cute and something that you can do when you're all like cozy so the next one is a mood ring from what i can see so this is in a white organza bag so this is a skull ring and it looks like this so it's kind of got the mood ring part in its head and its eyes and then the rest of it is just a skull So then it's got all the moods on it, on this little chart. So I will put that on. So that's what it looks like. I've just kind of stacked it on my... It is adjustable as well, so anyone can wear it. I'm assuming, obviously, because it's a mood ring, that it's going to be like silver plated. It's turning blue, so it says I'm upset. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm upset, but okay. <laughs> um, but that's the skull ring. I don't actually mind the design of it. I just, I tend to prefer like, you know, higher quality rings, I guess. It doesn't look like cheapy or anything, which most mood rings do, to be honest. And again, I like that it's a skull, so it's spooky. So that is the next item. Okay, so I can see something from Sass and Belle. So these are some tweezers and yeah, they've got a cat on. <laughs> so I do know the brand Sass and Belle. I do like them. Um, and yeah, they're basically some cat tweezers. So they are black and then they've got this like rubber bit to pull them together. If you know my channel again, you'll know I'm not really a cat person, but tweezers are always useful. So I will definitely keep them. <laughs> and this is what the box is looking like now so still quite a few things in here so next up is this little bracelet so this says ghouls just want to have fun oh ghouls just want to have fun good luck bracelet so this has got a little skull on it kind of on this like ribbon cord thing with a skull this i'll probably be selling on or something just because I struggle to put bracelets on like this and I prefer like chunkier bracelets but still it's a really cute item. Oh are these some socks? They are. Okay so I'm not sure the brand Macahel? I'm not sure. That's the name of the brand. It says accessories and then they've basically got all these like skulls and crossbones but then on the back they've got like the actual part your foot goes in. So these are definitely quite long socks. Um, I'm not too sure what I would wear with these to be honest but due to the length because they're kind of like mid calf socks i guess you could wear boots and then have the skull and crossbones like poking up over the top that would look quite cute these are a uk 6 to 11 though and i am a 3 to 4 so they might be a little bit big for me but yeah that's the next item some socks i do like the design it's just whether they'd fit me and then i'm assuming we've got the b cosmetics item left and then the hannah horror item so this what's this oh okay no we still have another item this looks like a coaster to me by alchemy england so this says the demon drink and it's a ceramic coaster it says it's heat and scratch resistant so that's what this looks like it is a really nice like chunky coaster like i've got actually a coaster from sass and bell and it's really thick it doesn't feel like it's going to fall over when you put a drink on it but this is by alchemy england so yeah that's also in here it's nice to see some brands in here too and then i think there's this item which is actually the face mask by ve cosmetics so this is their kind of leaflet postcard design and then it says never hide your magic magic is the truest art form on the back 
And then in here is this Relax Sweet Demon Mask by VE Cosmetics. It says, Corpse Paint Face Mask, self-care for the metal AF. Yeah, so I've basically seen how this looks. It's got some kind of like print on it, I think. Um, I'm not too sure whether I will use this. I'll have to have like a proper look at the ingredients because I've kind of got my skin at a good place. <laughs> so I'm trying not to use face masks. But that is the next item. Again, very fitting for the theme. And then there's this, which is pretty cute. So it's like a door hanger. It's got some devil horns and then it says ghouls night in, keep out. And the keep out is actually raised and shiny. And then it, on the back it says resting in peace, do not disturb with a skull. So that's the design of this. And you can see what I mean by the shininess of that. And it is raised. And then on the back it says do not disturb with a skull. That is quite cute. I do have quite a lot of door hangers. Um, it is a little bit like flimsy. But I really like the design of this. I think it's really cool. It's got this like spooky book of things to do when you're bored. I'm not sure whether this has a contents card in. But we will see at the end. And then the next item is by Hannah Horror. So this is her piece of artwork. Um, and then it says Hannah Horror and it's got her Instagram on the back of the sticker. So this is some kind of girl with horns with this kind of pentagram down here. Honestly, I don't know who this is. Um, I prefer more of her like Tim Burton work just because I really like those characters. If you know who this is, definitely let me know in the comments because I... I'm not too sure to be honest but as always I really love her art style I think it's really pretty so yeah that is the last item in the box aside from this so there's no contents card as I said so maybe it's in here I don't know oh okay so this is quite cute okay so this isn't it doesn't say the contents anywhere i feel like normally they do i've watched other unboxings i'm not sure but this is basically like a book of well what it says a spooky book of things to do when you're bored so inside it's got kind of these like an activity book <laughs> so it's got this word search but everything's spooky themed and then it's got a colouring page with all these kind of spooky items and then a word search on this page or a crossword I mean another kind of colouring page and then a anagram puzzle another colouring page with this cobweb design which is pretty and then what does it have on this page oh another word search and a maze and this is the last page, another colouring page, the ghost, and a, oh, the answers, which I'm not going to look at. <laughs> so quite a few pages in there. That's a really nice kind of thing to include, as a lot of people probably are quite bored in lockdown. So yeah, that is the last item. Honestly, I'd say there's quite a lot in this box. As I said, there's no contents card, but I will quickly go through the items. There was this spooky book of things to do. There was the face mask by VE Cosmetics. The art print from Hannah Horror. And also this little self-care kind of leaflet from her too. There was the door hanger, the candles, the pair of skull socks, the wax melts, the coaster, the manicure set in this little bat pouch, the cola sweets, the little hot chocolate set with the marshmallows and ghost sprinkles, the divination dice and the cat tweezers, the bath salts with the zebra agate crystal, the mood ring and also the mini skull bracelet so honestly i'd say that's quite a full box for 23 pounds i just put it back <laughs> so that's what everything looks like i'd say overall really really impressed with this box i think if they ever did maybe a ghost box or a vampire box i would definitely pre-order that i think 23 pounds for all of that stuff is really good considering there's items from V Cosmetics, Hannah Horror, other brands like Sassen Bell and also Alchemy England. Like I feel like that's a really good deal and honestly when I look at this 
compared to my gingerbread coffin box which costs like $34 like without postage like this box definitely has a lot more items in some of them are quite small when you look at like the bracelet and everything but you've still got like wax melts bat pouch socks art prints candles yeah i'd say really really impressed with this box actually um definitely the fullest one i've had and i think it's the least expensive box as well so yeah i'd say maybe i'll sell some of the items like the bracelet so if you are interested in some of those items i'll leave a link in the description box to my depop shop because some of these probably aren't things i'll use and i'll see if the socks fit too <laughs> so i'd say my favorite item is probably the bath salts i know i'll get a lot of use out of those and i love my crystals and i also love the wax melts so do let me know what you thought of this box in the comments below let me know your favorite item and if you've got any other boxes from a cult box do let me know remember to like this video if you did enjoy it and remember to press the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload and as i said at the very beginning do subscribe if you like these types of videos and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye